Hi guys, uh, today I'll be covering um, uh, the Mogul Battle event. So uh, I'm going to show uh, a few uh, essential commands, but basic ones, but uh, and some other ones are fun, but are not that uh, essential. So uh, yeah, I'm going to start uh, editing uh, right after uh, the screen with the Mogul, the black screen with the Mogul. Where uh, it save uh, what it says uh, use us to save Terra from the guards. Need an four? Yes, no. Then it branch here. And basically, this is all uh, the Mughal creation and uh, the party setup. But we're not gonna go uh, in great detail uh, in that. Uh, we're just gonna have some fun and uh, do some small edits. To uh, get the end on on, on how to uh, edit an event, so uh, basically the first thing uh, we're gonna do we're gonna change uh, Cupec to uh, Gogo Gogo Sprite and uh, Gogo Palette, as well as a portrait. But the portrait is automatically uh, match uh, the sprite. So uh, yeah, I've named him Cupac. So uh, Cupac uh, is uh, actor uh, 18 which is 12 in X so I gave him some uh, OP equipment and uh, jump but this is not really relevant, it's just to show you an example we won't need that so uh, the first thing uh, to do uh, we're gonna assign uh, uh, graphics OC instead of OA and we're gonna assign palette O3 instead of uh, O5 so, uh, Basically, we're gonna go to our event. I uh, already removed the header on, on my ROM. We're gonna go OC A nine four B. Okay, so uh, what I got here, I got it here. Basically, this. So uh, the first command I wanted to cover is uh, well, is, is assigning a name. Uh, it has two parameters, and the first parameter is, is uh, the character number. So uh, basically, um, all the the commands concerning characters uh, have the first uh, argument of the command as the uh, the character number. So set f o two twelve assign the name. That I've changed in the uh, USME. Uh, command 40, uh, it assigns properties, which is uh, the equipment, the HP, the, the starting level, all that. So this is done at crea crea character creation. Uh, then command 3D, it creates a character. And then this is what we're going to tweak here. Uh, assign graphics, this is basically the sprite. So OA is usually the Moogle, we're going to change that to OC like here. And finally the uh, palette uh, command, uh, we're going to change it from 05 to 03. So uh, I'm going to go uh, right here. Hold on, oh yeah, 37, 02, 05, okay, so we're going to change that to OC here. 43, 02. O3. All right, this is done. So the next thing I wanted to do is uh, removing Qpop and Qshu from uh, their party. I think uh, Qpop is in party one and uh, Qshu is in party three. So uh, this is just basically to free up space to have the the freedom to do a bit more stuff after. So I won't be uh, using the B2 command like in the last tutorial. I'm just gonna in the right uh, at the end of this of this event, so we're gonna go to CC A nine five nine. Right, okay, we're already there. So f until six four. So basically all that, okay, and then after uh, CC A nine nine F. Basically from here. Here, so we erased our two uh, character creation. 
so this it won't, it won't be created now the next thing to do uh, I wanted to do a party modification so uh, basically we're gonna move Q back no not Q back oh yeah party 3 instead of party 1 so uh, command 3F uh, assign a character to a party this is uh, the the normal command to party one, so it should read as uh, if we go there. A nine E three. A nine E three. Yeah. So this is the command. So three F O two O one uh, assigned to party zero one. So we're gonna change that to party three since we uh, we we're gonna free up a space in party three. Okay. So this is done. Then uh, the two character we have erased, we're gonna not assign them to party because this, I, I don't know if it, if it would crash, but it would certainly not work properly. So uh, CCA9 E6. Okay, we're already there. So this, these three bytes. And F8. F8 uh, here. Right, so we are re we have erased our um, our three. We have erased our two parties, not not the parties, but the two characters assignation. Okay, so basically uh, now the last thing I wanted to do is uh, basically remove all enemies with uh, a sound effect and uh, a flash, like some kind of uh, mystical magic that would happen on the battlefield. So. Uh, a little technique I got that I wanted to show. This is like uh, the trick of the day with H uh, with the X editor. So basically, uh, the event is finishing at. Uh, it's finishing where? It's finishing at the CCAAB2. This is the end of the event here. So uh, we're just gonna compact everything. We're just gonna compact everything. So. Uh, so it takes like uh, less place. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna select. I'm gonna select from the end of the event until the the first byte after my last edit. So I'm gonna copy copy this. Control C, and then I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna paste it, paste right, like that. And then I do, I I nullify the last three bytes. So that's my free space. Uh, then I'm gonna take from ear to ear, control C, then I'm go ear, control B, and F F F F F F. Now I got six bytes free at the end. Anyway, I'm gonna take from ear up to ear, control C. Still here, control B. And then I'm gonna free up all this. Uh, and finally, I'm gonna take uh, from here up until uh, here, control C, control B. Alright, so that's it. So now all my, my event is like uh, compacted and I freed up uh, all of this uh, space basically. So uh, this is going to allow me to uh, finish my edits. So uh, yeah, okay, the, la the last thing I wanted to show, one of the last thing I wanted to show is uh, the wait command. Uh, you can assign uh, the game to pause so while movements are still executing so it's command b5 which allows you to, uh, to basically uh, wait 9 times 15 frames if I would have input 2 here it would have been uh, 2 times 15 frames so 30 frames now it's 9, for 15, 9 times 15 so it's uh, under 25 which is about 2 seconds uh, I'll go, I'm gonna go to the event command list. There's already uh, there's already command uh, to pause to pause a game. 
uh, not, not this one, yeah, these are 91 to 95. So basically the, these are one byte command and they stop for 15, 30 frame, 45 frames, 60 frame, 120 frames. And uh, command before pause for, let's say, I input 30, it's going to be 30 frames. And B5 is the one that allows the IS amount of uh, pause frame, the one I'm using right now. So uh, yeah, these are um, are all to pause these command. Uh, yeah, all right. So now I've put my B B509. The next thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to flash the screen. Flashing the screen is uh, command 55, and uh, my parameter is uh, E4. I'm going to explain it in a short while. Uh, the color is uh, the four IS byte of uh, the four IS bit bits of the byte. So basically, uh, there's one byte for each each uh, um, each original color, which are uh, red, green, blue. So if I got EO, it's basically uh, the IS bit 80 plus 40 plus 20 in X. So that's make that makes it that makes uh, EO. Uh, I think this one here would be the white, though I'm not sure. But the the mix of all the the red, green, blue it does does a white. So I'm not sure uh, it's needed here. That's why it's not there. Otherwise, it would be F0. So uh, and um, the uh, intensity of the flash is actually the four first byte. So uh, if you got, uh, like I, I have an intensity of 4, it's basically the, the third byte. So intensity 2, blah, well I classify it as intensity 0, 1, 2, 3. So intensity 2 is 4, which is uh, byte number 3. Well byte number 2 actually, byte 0, byte 1, byte 2. And uh, the, the IS intensity you can have is 8 which is the uh, the fourth byte. So uh, I'm not sure enabling all four bytes at the same time does a greater intensity, but uh, usually it's, there's only one set at a time. So this is for my flashing screen. Uh, then I'm gonna have a sound effect with that. Uh, the sound effect RF4 and uh, I choose the dispel sound because it's it fits. Uh, if you're unsure of the sound effect you can go to uh, the Final Fantasy VI uh, hacking wiki and we've put them all here, uh, they're on the wiki uh, and you can all test them to, uh, to to know what they sound like uh, some of them are not yet labeled but eventually uh, we're gonna have them all so uh, you can go there uh, to have the complete list um, Alright, so this is my sound effect, and then uh, I'm gonna hide the enemies. Um, usually, you can either delete uh, an entity or you can hide it and do something else. Like I, I'll explain shortly. Uh, in this case, uh, the, the, the enemies are hide and their, even their presence bits, which show them on map or uh, no, not show them on map but uh, show them physically as invisible as invisible beings uh, if there are they are eyed already uh, is uh, th th that's what the present bit does so um, command 42 uh, hide them so I'm gonna hide the uh, entity 13 14 15 16 17 18 which are the six enemies so uh, basically, I'm just gonna copy this. Control C, Control B. Okay, so now they're all they're all hidden. And now uh, I'm gonna do a refresh command. The game uses a refresh command, but some people say it might be useless because it doesn't make any difference whether you use it or not. Well. Uh, a couple minutes ago, I had 
problem with the event so I'm not sure if it's because I forgot the the refresh command or not because I had the, the NPC still being there, the enemies were still there but they were invisible and I couldn't go past them so uh, maybe command 45 does something uh, I would love to look into the call in the code in greater detail but doesn't really cost anything of putting it so uh, we're gonna do that and then we're gonna clear their presence bit so basically this will make sure uh, they are not uh, still on the map even if they are hidden because uh, NPC can be hidden but still there and you just run into an invisible block which will which will uh, block you the path so I'm gonna paste this and then uh, finally well you can do another refresh but this one's a bit useless I think and finally uh, FE so, you know uh, so I had one byte extra so everything is fine like that so we're gonna save this first I'm just, I'm just gonna gonna show you one last thing you see here um, where is it uh, it's the heaven bits not these so that their their presence bit are set here so if you make a search for this seven bit you'll see the there's only three occurrence in the whole event dump of this which are their creation when they are put on the map and the event which is called here center screen or parking in the battle this is when you run into you run into the enemies uh, is gonna make the battle then if a certain bit is set after is clear after bottle after bottle is gonna branch to destroy the enemy so basically what is happening here uh, there's a sound effect played which is the sound of the enemy dying uh, the the entity or the object is the enemy is uh, hidden then object are, are refresh and his uh, presence bit is clear so basically this is what I've done um, but I've, I've done it in a whole block at the same time so uh, and I think this command here restore party to active status uh, I think this allowed to clear the map because uh, it's only when I switch party and I switch back to party number one that the invisible um, NPCs or enemies were really had really disappeared like I could uh, I could walk f freely uh, past them so uh, yeah but I did that in a rush so uh, I'm not sure exactly what's the issue with that so uh, this is called and then there's a return uh, to return to uh, the continuation of the uh, the battle of the mines so uh, all right and is there something else yeah creation okay yeah uh, this is the creation this is a, okay yeah uh, you see here this is when you win the battle actually all the uh, object are hidden like I did uh, there's a refresh there's a restore screen from from fade maybe that's what I was missing in my event but anyhow uh, and then all the the presence bits are clear and there's actually here all the Moogles and the three part the parties of three all the three parties of Moogles except Locke are uh, are removed from the party and then their object is deleted I'm not sure if we, if we would have deleted the enemies instead of hiding them and clearing their bits uh, what would have been the difference but in some case the object is delete in some case it is it in and uh, there there's a difference between the two um, I think uh, by deleting it, these ob the objects is more uh, aimed aim toward characters actually because if you want to recreate it, it it has to be delete deleted prior to that this is just like uh, my theory but 
I haven't done events for a very long time, so uh, I don't remember exactly in which context it's preferable to use delete instead of uh, hiding. So basically this is all what I wanted to show. Uh, I'm going to save the ROM. I save already, save all. Okay. Then I'm going to go see what does the event look like. Got the sound enabled? No, okay. Load the cartridge. I'm gonna put the sound louder a bit. Uh, okay, already had a safe state. Uh, was this in slot 1 or 2? I think it's 2. Oh, uh, what a shame. Hold on. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I forgot to, re to rename them. This one, and we're gonna enable the first one as well. Okay, so now it should work. Okay, yeah, we got it. So, lock is here. All the famous Moogles and appear. This is the the critical moment. The critical moment, because this is where we've done the edits. So now there should be. You see, Gogo. -Go. Oh, there was no lighting, and the enemies are still there. Well, well, well. What happened? Okay, we're gonna try to fix that uh, quickly. Um. because there was a return right here. Yeah, because there I still had my return. So I need to take all this copy and um, I'm just gonna make sure the end of the event match. That's not what I want. Uh, no, yeah, this is the three A enabled. Okay, so it should end by with three A. Yeah, we got our three A here. So I'm gonna take this, all this, Control C, and paste it here. Control B. Now it should works. It should work. So, uh, oops, sorry. No, I'm just gonna load my my save at the uh, slot three. Ah, uh, slot two. Okay, I can. I don't know if to fast forward, ask fast forward with BSNS, but uh, yeah, shouldn't be long.
Let's cross our fingers. Got uh, the flash, the sound. I'm gonna check the parties. Yeah, you see there's only two here. I'm gonna switch parties. Q-Pack is there. I'm gonna check the equipment. Yeah. Coral Hands, Genji Shield. I'm gonna go see if we can go past to, to where the enemies were. Yeah. Then we got our guard leaders. So yeah, so uh, that basically covers uh, what I wanted to cover today. So uh, next uh, next tutorial, I'll I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cover uh, setting and clearing even event bits as well as uh, presence bits because uh, we've seen it a bit here, but I didn't explain really the commands and how they work and which document to uh, to cross reference to uh, edit them easily. So I'll cover this and conditional branching as well, which is. Uh, an important part of uh, event editing and event creation in general. So uh, thanks a lot guys. Bye.